Well, even though the National Weather Service is predicting less snowfall in the Mid-Atlantic region this year, they are still preparing for winter weather out here at BWI Marshall. This as aviation returns to pre-pandemic levels. With winter right around the corner, the more than 140 skilled and well-trained BWI Marshall snow removal employees are ready to hop into action. That's our, our main concern here is passenger safety, making sure the planes can land properly and take off properly. There are more than 120 pieces of equipment to do the job, everything from plow trucks to chemical spreaders to runway brooms and blowers, even snow melters. The trucks work in a caravan, closing down one runway to clean it then the other, while all under the time constraints put in place by the Federal Aviation Administration, the object to clear those runways in less than 30 minutes. Well, we work here a day and night, around the clock, you know, stay here in the runway for in the trucks for 10 hours or 12 hours, shift, we eat in the truck and stay in the truck all the time, make sure that this place runs and open operational all the time. The work, as you can imagine, isn't easy and at times can be very dangerous, so these workers need to be on their toes. You know, it's dark and windy and snowy and it's, the visibility is very low, so you definitely have to keep your head on the swivel, you know, watch everything around you because it's, it's pretty intense. In the past couple of years, even though air travel was down because of the global pandemic, the work had to carry on mainly for cargo planes, but now that passenger traffic is picking up, it's a whole new ball game. But these workers say they are ready for the challenge. Rest is the most important thing. Not coming out here uh, sluggish or anything. So as long as you have your, uh, your bag of snacks and some rest, you'll be all right. And in the end, if it turns out to be a bad winter out here in Maryland, the airport, they're prepared. At PWI Marshall, I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL, TV 11 News.